Hello and welcome to this exercise on linear scale factor, area scale factor and volume scale factor. Essentially what we have got here are three cubes. Now cube A is the object which has been transformed by enlargement uh, by a linear scale factor of two. Okay, so the enlarged objects B and C are called the images. Now, cube C is an enlargement of cube A by a linear scale factor of three. So if you do one there, so one, two, three. Now to formalize all that, now because that's been enlarged by a linear scale factor of two, so that dimension is two by one, two times one by two times one by uh, 2 times 1. That's what we call that because the linear scale factor is 2. Uh, Seems like you can do the same thing for uh, cube C. If you now look at the uh, the area, if you look at the area there, for this surface area there, and uh, if you look at the area for this surface here, now that area is 1 times 4, which is 1 squared, and that area is 2 times 2 which is 4 and 4 is 2 squared it then follows that the area scale factor is the linear scale factor squared similarly for C we got C is 3 by 3 3 times 3 so <clears throat> the area of this surface here is 3 times 3 and 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 is 3 squared. And once again, the area scale factor is linear scale factor squared. Now for the volume, for the object, the volume is 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1 centimeter cubed. And for B, the volume is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 centimeter cubed and 8 is 2 cubed so the the volume scale factor all of that is the linear scale factor cubed right and for C the volume is 3 by 3 by 3 and that's 27 centimeter cubed so the volume again once again the the volume scale factor is the linear scale factor all cubed now don't forget that all this time we're looking at uh, an object with dimension of one by one by one now if if the object has got different dimensions then i think that would be different there so what you do is to find the linear scale factor given the area of each surface you do the area of the image divided by the area of the object and then take the square root so in this case the square root of 4 is 2 so the linear scale factor is 2 now in the next example in the next slide the object is larger than the Im image next slide hi uh, now this is a, uh, an example now here we've got uh, an object in blue and the image in red now notice that um this, this is, is a difference from the last slide in the last slide the uh, the object was smaller than the uh the image now the, in this slide is zero around the object is bigger than the image and we are asked to find say shapes A and B are similar shape B has been enlarged from shape A by a linear scale factor of X find the value of X right as I said earlier you then have to divide the area of the of the image the area of the image by the area of the object now that's what we got here and the area of B is 18 centimeter squared 
and the area of A is 32 centimeters squared. And when we cancel that, we end up with 9 over 16. Yes? And so if we then take the square root of 9 over 16, we end up with 3 quarters. So the linear scale factor from object A after transformation by enlargement is 3 over 4. And then it goes on to say if one of the sides of A is 4 centimeters, find the other sides of B. Now, what you then do, because you've got this uh, linear scale factor of 3 over 4, if one side of, of one dimension of A is 4 centimeters, it then follows that the, the similar dimension, the equivalent dimension for uh, the image B will be 3 quarters times 4. So that's going to be 3. And that being the case, if that's 3, and the area is 18, so that's going to be 6. I hope all that made some sense, and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and i see you again sometime. Bye-bye.